The shocking death of superhero 43-year-old actor Chadwick Boseman has left shockwaves across the entire globe as confusion spreads about how somebody so young, so fit, so healthy could die from colon cancer. But it turns out it is the second leading cause of cancer death in the United States. So News 19's Whitney Sullivan talked to an expert about what are the warning signs you should know. It's more common than you may think. According to the American Cancer Society, excluding skin cancers, colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer diagnosed in America, impacting one out of 23 men and one out of 25 women. There's not much conversation about this disease. So I went to Dr. Scott Gropner with Lexington Oncology Associates to learn more. What is colon cancer? It's a tumor that usually starts as a precancerous polyp inside the colon, which is the large intestine um, or large bowel all the way down to the rectum. What are the symptoms? Changes in bowel habits, whether that be diarrhea or constipation. Um, crampy abdominal pain um, can be a symptom. Unplanned weight loss can be a symptom. And then blood in the stool or dark stools can be a symptom as well. What are the risk factors? Your diet, especially uh, red meats have been associated with colon cancer. And then processed meats as well, like hot dogs and even some lunch meats. Being obese can be a risk factor um, for colon cancer. Um, and then also smoking, uh, heavy alcohol use can be a risk factor as well. Some of the more non-modifiable risk factors include genetics, having a family history of colon cancer. Are there groups at a greater risk of getting colon cancer? In the United States, African Americans are 20% more likely to develop colon cancer. And according to the American Cancer Society, it's also deadlier for African Americans Americans. Why is that? It's thought that it's possibly attributed to both poor access to health care, poor rates of can colon cancer screening, uh, could be a higher risk of, um, of high fat diets, and also there could be a genetic uh, component as well that needs a little bit more research. It's also important to know that a growing number of cases are being diagnosed in younger adults. One of the reasons that younger, that it's thought maybe younger patients are um, having a higher risk of developing colon cancers, they don't want to talk about these symptoms because they can be embarrassing. We as medical providers want to hear everything that's happening in your life that's concerning to you. So please bring that up and realize that this is a serious disease that we can help prevent if it's caught at an early stage. So here's some advice from the doctor. I strongly recommend finding out your family history. Is there anyone in the, in the family who's had colon cancer, and especially at a young age? Such good advice. Thank you so much, Whitney. And now from the American Cancer Society, they recommend that everybody get screened. You get a colonoscopy by the time you turn 45 years old to see if you have any of those polyps. And if you have a family history of colon cancer or if there are symptoms that you're concerned about, you should talk to your doctor immediately, no matter what your age, because those simple steps could save your life.